The Limitations of Drive, a critical perspective on Daniel Pink's work. In his best-selling book Drive, The Surprising Truth About What Motivates Us, Daniel Pink challenges the traditional notions of motivation and offers a new framework based on three key factors, autonomy, mastery, and purpose. While Pink's work has been widely praised for its fresh insights and practical advice, it is important to critically examine the limitations of his approach. This essay will offer a critical perspective on Pink's work, highlighting both its strengths and weaknesses. By analyzing the research behind Pink's framework and examining its practical applications, we will explore the extent to which his ideas can be applied in various contexts, and the potential limitations of relying too heavily on his theories. While Pink's work has sparked important conversations about the nature of motivation and the importance of intrinsic factors, it is essential to approach his ideas with a critical and analytical mindset. By doing so, we can gain a more nuanced understanding of motivation and the various factors that contribute to human performance and success. One of the key strengths of Pink's work is his focus on intrinsic motivation, which he argues is a more effective and sustainable driver of performance than extrinsic rewards such as bonuses or promotions. By emphasizing the importance of autonomy, mastery, and purpose, Pink's framework aligns with research showing that individuals are most motivated when they feel a sense of control over their work, are able to develop their skills, and have a sense of meaning and purpose in what they do. However, there are also limitations to Pink's framework. For one, his focus on autonomy may not always be feasible or appropriate in certain contexts. For example, in highly regulated industries or organizations with strict protocols, employees may not have much control over their work processes. Additionally, while Pink emphasizes the importance of intrinsic motivation, he does not entirely discount the role of extrinsic rewards. In fact, he argues that extrinsic rewards can be effective in certain circumstances, such as when used to recognize achievement or to create a sense of urgency. Another limitation of Pink's work is that it may not fully account for the influence of cultural and societal factors on motivation. While his framework is based on research conducted primarily in Western countries, it may not be universally applicable to other cultural contexts where values and priorities around work and motivation may differ. Furthermore, Pink's framework may not fully address the complex and multifaceted nature of motivation. While autonomy, mastery, and purpose are important drivers of motivation, they may not be the only factors at play. Other factors such as social recognition, personal values, and the work environment itself may also significantly influence an individual's motivation levels. Overall, while Pink's work offers a valuable contribution to the field of motivation, it is important to critically evaluate its practical applications and potential limitations. By doing so, we can gain a more nuanced understanding of the factors that contribute to motivation and performance, and develop more effective strategies for unlocking human potential. In conclusion, Daniel Pink's book Drive has made a significant contribution to our understanding of motivation and has challenged traditional notions of how to motivate individuals. His emphasis on autonomy, mastery, and purpose as key drivers of motivation has resonated with many individuals and organizations seeking to create a more engaged and motivated workforce. However, it is important to recognize the limitations of Pink's framework and approach. While his ideas offer valuable insights, they may not be universally applicable to all contexts or cultures. Additionally, his focus on intrinsic motivation may not entirely discount the role of extrinsic rewards, which can be effective in certain situations. Ultimately, understanding motivation and how to effectively motivate individuals is a complex and multifaceted issue that requires a nuanced and critical approach. By considering multiple perspectives and factors, we can develop more effective strategies for unlocking human potential and achieving success in our personal and professional lives. We are leaving with those famous quotes from Daniel Pink. Human beings have an innate inner drive to be autonomous, self-determined, and connected to one another. And when that drive is liberated, people achieve more and live richer lives. Control leads to compliance, autonomy leads to engagement. 
The ultimate freedom for creative groups is the freedom to experiment with new ideas. And the only way to get that kind of freedom is to cultivate a culture that encourages experimentation and rewards mistakes. The most successful people are not the ones with the most resources, but the ones who consistently make the most of what they have. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.